All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. What I need you to do is watch the entire video before you comment. Do that for me. I took a block to my friend Rick. Rick is a retired machinist. He's done a lot of things. He worked in the block department for Keith Black. Uh, he has a race car. <laughs> checked this block for me. Step one, I brought the block to him. He power honed it 30 thousandths. This is a 351 Windsor. It needed to go to 40. So he did 30 thousandths without a torque plate. We were waiting to get that last 10 thousandths in for the final hone. So he wanted to check it. He said, I've never checked a small block Ford before. So he drops his gauge in, which he knows how to read. And I do zoom in on the gauge. He checks that cylinder. I torque down in three sessions the torque plate with the stock head bolts that came out of the engine. He checks the block again to see the distortion that it had. He goes ahead and hones, finish hones that entire side. He checks the block. I loosen the plate, take it all the way off. He checks the block again to see the distortion. A lot of people won't believe this. This is not an anti-torque plate video, but it is pretty interesting to see firsthand that this happened. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate y'all watching. So this is a Ford 351 Windsor 84 model. We're checking the distortion before the torque plate and after the torque plate, correct? Yep. Okay. 2.2. .2. On the top. One point two on the bottom. Nice. Now torque it down and see where we're at. I figure start at fifty. Three step. Were you there? Call it. Between 1.9 and 2, call it 2 right there. 2 on the top. One on the bottom. So, it distorted 2 tenths. Which is definitely not worth a torque plate. There you, you know? go. There you go. I do hear often that you have to have a torque plate. Yeah, but they've never checked it. They just hit, they just repeat what they heard on the internet or what they read in Hot Rod magazine. Right. Because some engines are that way. Some engines do distort massively. Mm -hmm. But a big block Mopar and a 351 Windsor using stock head bolts does not. It distorted two tenths of a thousandth. It's not very much. Well, that's <laughs> near, that's near zero. <laughs> right. Awesome. We gotta remember this number. A tenth over. A tenth under. 
Okay. Now you can loosen it up and we'll see where we went. Plus, close to three. Still minus one on the bottom. Oh, well, almost zero. No, zero on the bottom. Zero on the bottom. So it changed it. Uh, no, really, only one on the top. Yeah, maybe, maybe change it two on the top, one on the bottom. Still, but but the same thing. It's we're less than two tenths. Yeah. Which. Uh, you know, <laughs> what can I say about two tenths? Not very much. No, because there isn't much. 